There is a little ground to be gained by those who advocate putting guns in the hands of Indiana school teachers to better protect students. The author of House Bill 1177 hoped to mandate gun training for teachers who volunteer. Instead, the bill passed in the Senate today, and it would have the state pay for that training, or at least 40 hours worth. And that piece of legislation, which empowers local districts to make decisions, has some language in it that said that the training should include components to teach or to train teachers to, to be able to shoot in high stress environments, to be able to shoot while on the move, to be able to shoot multiple targets. I said in committee yesterday, Senator Ford said on the Senate floor, this is almost looks to me like SWAT training, not teachers trying to protect themselves and their students. And we got to quit worrying about the gun. We got to think about the human component. That's what we're dealing with. We have a meanness in our society, an evilness in the society. And it goes beyond mental illness sometimes. Of people who just want to hurt people. And they want to hurt kids. And they know they're soft targets in these schools. That's where they go. The bill passed the state Senate today by a vote of 42 to 8. And new information, the bill was authored by State Representative Jim Lucas, who represents Seymour in southern Indiana. The state house file reports that he suggested the Uvalde school massacre could have been a false flag operation.